campfire, a Butte Strong grant of $300,000 helping those survivors and other homeless people find a place to live. Action News Now reporter Danny Mastin joins us now live on Fair Street where more shelters are going up at this hour. Danny, this could really help people get back on their feet, right? Yeah, Scott, this is a big deal. Now, I spoke to one woman here at the Jesus Center. She was homeless at one point, went through the program and got her life back together. Now she's the program manager here at the Jesus Center, helping others do the same. I do recall and remember just like screaming from the inside out, can you see me? Can somebody see me or hear me? And so I did feel really, I don't know why I'm so emotional. It's been so long, but I did feel very invisible. Shelly Watson feeling the emotions resurface when thinking back on her journey. In 2006, 2007, came to Chico. I was actually cutting hair and I became disabled along with some other traumatic situations that were happening. She is grateful for the support of the Jesus Center and now wants to pay it forward. But it was through that journey there that I just really found that I wanted to be someone that could help to share my story and inspire others to give them hope. The Jesus Center now expanding its services to help even more people. It's building a renewal center with 100 suite style beds, including 15 family units. And 16 beds will be just for campfire survivors. We know from our work in the fire, um, from the very beginning and doing case management and operating a house for fire survivors currently, that there are still plenty of people who have not found stable housing. To give you an idea, the new Jesus Center is located here on Fair Street and the renewal center will be located directly across the street and once completed will occupy a total of 4.8 acres of land. We'll have a medical respite unit. We're going to have a back to work program. We're going to have a unit for folks who currently might be here at the Sabbath house, but are in that part of their change where they're relapsing. And so we'll be able to support them better. We want to provide the opportunity for them to work alongside them and not for them. We want to help get them to um, a point of self-determination. The Jesus Center is hoping to break ground in October and have the renewal center completed by 2022. Live in Chico, Danny Mastin, Action News Now coverage. You can count on. Thank you for that, Danny. Now the two-story shelter will have the beds on the top floor with a clinic, addiction management, mental health services, facilities out there for a vocational lab, and an area for children's services that will be on the bottom floor.